Camille again at Goodreach Ligora. So today we're coming to the last three days of excavation. So we're in trench three again and right now I'm sitting in Locust 39 uh, with Levon and we're just getting ready to set up a probe. Now probes in archaeology are basically used to go down stratigraphic layers and see what's there in the section without pulling back all the layers. Right now, we're looking here to see how many burnt surfaces we have. We're finding more in trench two and one than we are in three, and we wanna make sure that we excavate surfaces in their entirety and we know what to expect. The more carefully we go down here, it means the less time it's gonna take us to investigate the whole section when we do come to excavate it. Now, setting up probes are a little bit tedious because you have to set them up against the section, which is right here. And right now I've set this one up so we have two sections here so we can expose the most amount of stratigraphy possible. Um, and that way we can see what our bulks look like from the end. So right now I'm hammering the third peg of my, of, of my probe. So when I do this, I want to make sure that I'm doing a 100 by 100 centimeter probe. Now I'm doing this because that gives me enough room to not work on top of myself but it's still small enough that I can do it in a day very carefully. Uh, so we're, I'm, I expect to excavate this almost as carefully as I would a Paleolithic site. Um, and Levon's gonna be doing the excavating here because my probe, I'll show you, is over there. So Levon, can you tell me, let's take it from the head and see, is that 100 exactly? No, that probe has to, has to come closer. Do you want the hammer? Yeah. So I also, so I take obviously the four points and I make sure that each, uh, each peg is a hundred centimeters from the other. And then I'm going to bring in trigonometry and each, I check that when I do a line down the middle, that my, each of my shorter triangle, uh, each of my triangles equals each other. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, but those calculations I'll do up top and I won't bore you with them. So let's look at this from head to head. This isn't far back enough where we need to move it a centimeter. Uh, as you can see, this is a little tedious, but it matters how correct we are because accuracy is everything. Now. As you can see, I'm below level because I'm working in a probe right now. Now, as we talked about over there, what a probe is, is basically looking at a smaller swath of information. Uh, I tied this one up yesterday and I've been working here since. Now, the reason we're doing this basically is twofold. We are in our last three days of excavation and we want to collect the most amount of information possible. Now, we also want to work effectively for our last two days. So I'm here basically excavating this super carefully. I'm not really using anything bigger than a hand pick. I'm working a lot with my trowel and I'm being super careful. I'm switching loci all the time. And the reason I'm doing this is because I really need to get the most amount of information possible from here. Now, part of getting that amount of information is having a probe that's set up against my section edge. This is where we excavated this season. We're continuing down. That way we can get the fullest picture possible versus setting it up a probe in the middle of my square. It doesn't give me enough information. I'm trying to see the relationship. So we worked in Levon's probe. Now we're working in mine right now. If you come this way, you can see the different sections of the square. So right now, this was the surface. And we came down this black layer we gave to Locust 44. Now I'm working, this was 45 and now I'm working in 47 because we switched from a clay layer to a silt layer. I'm going to continue going down here. Now the other square is an exterior of a building and it has lots of burnt layers. I'm not getting that here because we're in the interior. So I'm trying to figure out did the structures, um, did the structures cut through the burnt layer or was it really uh, concentrated areas of burning and destruction. So it's a little bit tedious, but we're getting there um, and they're really important. So after this, after I'm done probing, if we do find a surface, what we're gonna do is excavate the entirety of the building I'm sitting in. 
and we're going to peel back according to the lows I've already established. I know the elevations, I know what I'm expecting, so I can excavate quickly and effectively, yet still very methodologically sound. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.